Ending 32, only the defending king plays a part, position 6.4. Kopiv, 1958. The king is in contact with the less advanced pawn. The tail hook. When the king supports his pawns, and his counterpart is far from them, the pawns can win. However, the rook has more resources than one usually thinks, as we will see in the following examples. Here the plans for both players are clear, the side with the pawns will try to push one, exchange it for the rook and then promote the other pawn. The side with the rook will try to bring the king closer, then sacrifice the rook for the more advanced pawn and capture the other with the king. However, this is not a simple race or a tempi count, the rook has many resources to hinder the pawn's progress. I do not think that many players would intuitively place their bets on the rook in the diagram position. A simple count justifies this lack of confidence, but a deeper analysis turns the tables. Rook h3 f3. A powerful resource worth taking into account, the rook prevents the king moving to g7 to push the f pawn, which is closest to the black king, as then black could not attack the g pawn. The alternatives are. g6 g7 king c3 d4 king f6 f7 king d4 e5 is an easy draw king f6 g7 this is the key move and a very important resource for the king in supporting his pawns Dvoritsky calls this method a change of the leader the king secures the advance of his f pawn and wins which otherwise would be impossible f5 f6 king d4 e5 f6 f7 rook g3 f3 f7 f8 the f pawn promotes without the black king attacking the g pawn therefore g3 seems to be a waste of time King f6 e6 Rook f3 g3 And neither pawn can advance King f6 e5 Looks nonsensical compared to 2 cent e6 But it has a hidden idea Rook f3 g3 f5 f6 the point now if the rook captures the g pawn the f pawn advances and ending 29 where the rook loses arises but after 3 g5 equals black will sacrifice the rook for the two pawns 3 x g6 4 dot f7 plus ending 29 g6 g7 rook f3 g3 king f6 f7 king c3 d4 g7 g8 rook g3 captures g8 king f7 captures g8 king d4 e5 f5 f6 
King d4 e5. Position 6.5. Though further analysis is not necessary, we should look at the position closely, because this is the most typical extreme situation in this endgame. This is the situation that Black has been aiming for ever since his paradoxical first move, the rook controls the advanced pawn's promotion, whereas the king keeps an eye on the backward pawn. It is an immediate draw. Dvoritsky calls this situation the tail hook, an expression used by pilots and a very visual metaphor. The series of checks, position 6.6. Larino Picasso La Rota, 2006. This position comes from an actual game. Once again, we can see that, although White's position looks desperate because the king is far away from the promotion squares, there are plenty of resources for the rock. In concrete, this example shows the effectiveness of a series of checks to clear the way for the tail hook. G4 G3. King f8 e7. h4 h3. King e7 e6. King g5 f4. King e6 d5. g4 g3. Rook h7 h4. King f4 g3. King d5 e4. King g3 h2. Rook h7 g7. g4 g3. King e4 f3. g3 g2. King f3 f2. King h2 h1. Rook g7 g6. h3 h2. Rook g6 captures g2. Rook h7 g7. Bringing the king closer also leads to a draw, but this move, less intuitive in appearance, reveals the idea in a clearer way, the king approaches through the GNH files until he makes contact with the backward pawn. King g5 f4. Rook g7 f7. King f4 g3. King f8 g7. h4 h3. King g7 g6. It is important to leave the h file open in case h7 is needed. h3 h2. Rook f7 h7. King g3 g2. King g6 g5 g4 g3 king g5 g4 king g3 h2 king g6 g5 g4 g3 king g5 h4 g3 g2 rook f7 g7 The series of checks, position 6.6. Larino Picasso La Rota, 2006. This position comes from an actual game. Once again, we can see that, although White's position looks desperate because. h5 h4. King e7 e6. King g5 g4. Analysis diagram 6.7. This is the position that makes this ending interesting. King e6 e5. White plays a logical move, to bring the king closer, and reaches a losing position. It was necessary to switch to the other plan, 
the rook delivers checks and the king tries to get in contact with the backward pawn. g3 g2. Returning the favor right away. Calculations are very complex here. Placing both pawns on the 6th rank was winning, though there were some mating traps to avoid. King e5 e4. King g4 h3. Rook h7 g7. King h3 h2. King e4 f4. h4 h3. King f4 f3. g2 g1. 